All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. All right, now, so here are a few videos that I put together that I truly believe most of you, if not all of you, will find interesting. Find interesting because it concerns all of us, okay? Now, the video deals with the individual by the name of Lionel Moreno. Lionel Moreno, who is from Venezuela, who illegally entered the United States back in 2022. Illegally entered the United States. Now, think about this, okay? I don't know the exact procedures. I don't know how it works when the uh, individuals who sneak into the country and they uh, they state that they're seeking asylum. I don't understand how it works, but let me tell you, our system is flawed big time, okay? Now I got to take a guess that most of you have been noticing the, uh, uh, the big uh, drama that's been going on lately about the migrants, okay? Specifically in New York, okay? New York is being overwhelmed at this very moment. One of the things that I uh, found very disturbing, guys, is uh, with the amount of homeless people that we've had here and we have a uh, a major problem with homeless people now for the past uh, who knows how long now all of a sudden we have uh, migrants that come over here right now think about this one here this one here hit me uh, hit me hard but New York City is paying four to five hundred dollars a day per migrant and luxury hotels holy crap think about that one okay our city of new york who don't do shit for the homeless people uh, don't do shit for the people who are, are renting or own okay now because the city uh, really doesn't have any place to put these migrants well they are paying four to five hundred dollars a day per migrant for luxury hotels. Ain't that some shit, okay? Now, back to Lionel Moreno, who has been, um, for the past two years, mocking our government by, uh, he, on TikTok, he has over 500,000 followers who he has been uh, making videos showing the uh, other immigrants how to come into the United States, okay? Come here, state that you're seeking asylum, and this is what you got to do. You uh, get to your uh, food stamps, cash assistance, there's more to that, okay? But let me tell you something. This is truly a kick in the ass for us that pay taxes, okay? An a-hole like Lionel Moreno for the past two years, <laughs> we've been supporting his ass, okay? As well as now the migrants that are coming out here now from uh, wherever, okay? Now, don't take me wrong, guys. I, I am not racist. I, I have a heart. I understand a lot of the people that are coming into the United States. They're looking to uh, better their lives and the lives of their families and so on okay I truly have a heart and I uh, I believe everybody should have that opportunity okay but do the shit the right way legally okay now as a taxpayer guys I'm telling you the system is screwed up these individuals are abusing the government because the government in my opinion <laughs> they just, I don't know. I, I, I want to call the government every name in the book. And you guys, if you know me, if you've been following my videos, I support our government. I know we have our faults here and there, but I truly support them. I try to do a, I try to be American and say, okay, again, I say, guys, we all know our government has faults, but you try to, you try to stick with it and work those little faults out, okay? And um, again, with the frauditors, Please, you got knuckleheads like Sean, uh, the uh, Davy there, uh, good guy fraud. It's okay, and Eli, and um, all they're concentrating is on going and harassing police and going into these locations where they have the no recording policy. That's bullshit. Okay, here's a problem. Okay, with Sean here, who has uh, close to 700,000 subscribers, here he is in Chicago, worrying about what's going on in Chicago, when here in his own backyard in New York, this shit is going on, why not use your 700,000 subscribers to do something good for the uh, country that you supposedly love, the Constitution that, uh, that pretty much got you uh, making thousands of dollars uh, a month, okay? Okay, but let's get into the video. I uh, 
the video better explain more of what I'm trying to put out there, guys. Let's get into it phrase some of this report from the New York Post. So illegal migrant influencer Lay Trash, who mocked America on social media in several videos, has been nabbed by federal immigration authorities. Turns out that ICE fugitive operations officers arrested Lay Trash in Columbus, Ohio on Friday, and he is currently being held at Gahana County Jail, according to ICE records. This Venezuelan migrant crossed the border illegally back in April 2022 at Eagle Pass, Texas. He was enrolled in the Alternatives to Detention Program, which allows federal authorities to track migrants using ankle monitors or other technology. However, Lay Trash didn't follow the rules. Of course he didn't. And is now listed as an absconder from the program, according to ICE documents seen by the New York Post. But before his arrest, Gahana police told the Post they were aware of the videos he was filming and posting, but added at the time that uh, their agency has had no contact with Lay Trash and they were unaware of his location, despite him filming around police cars and just on the streets in general uh, in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and just making fun of the country and its laws. But indeed, we are all happy that he has finally been apprehended. However, in my opinion, it is a true shame and an embarrassment that it took this long to finally do something about him and his hateful content. Similarly, Lay Trash was originally released into the US on parole due to the lack of space in detention facilities. This has previously meant migrants haven't been fully interviewed and vetted by authorities, which usually takes around three days before being led into the US. Lay Trash has been seen living in Columbus. His listed point of contact in the US was Catholic Charities in Miami, according to ICE documents. And that is where ICE mailed Lay Trash an immigration court date in November 2022, after he never appeared in person, according to sources. As I previously mentioned, Lay Trash was placed into the alternatives to detention program by Border Patrol and was told to report to Enforcement and Removal Operations Office within 60 days of arriving at his destination. So he was being monitored by a tracking device, but soon after his release, Lay Trash stopped complying and failed to show for a check-in with authorities. Now, diplomatic ties between the US and Venezuela are currently strained. It was not immediately clear if Lay Trash would be a candidate for deportation or would be held in nice custody. This is a win for us, no doubt about it. But it took this long to catch this guy, even though he was posting so many videos on social media. What about those guys that are not posting anything on social media? How are we going to catch them? All right, so let me also mention that not only was he making TikTok videos showing the migrants who were sneaking into the USA what they had to say and what to do to get food stamps, cash assistance, free medical, but he was also showing them how to get a free house. Oh, think about that one. Look for property that uh, is not being lived in on a daily, stick yourself in there, and when they try, if somebody tries to get you uh, kicked out or whatever, use the squatter law. Now, let me tell you, he put a video out on that that got over 4 million views. Think about the uh, uh, the amount of people out of those 4 million views that are taking advantage of that squatter law. Now, you tell me that's not a kick in the ass for those of us that have a second home or just uh, rental property that at the moment is not being rented out. Eh, the next thing you know, you got some knucklehead in there that's using that squatter law on you. And you got to take them through some legal bullshit to get them kicked out. You tell me that's not a kick in the ass. Yes. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Ya 
que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. The house came with something unexpected. A man living in their home, who they say refuses to leave. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being in my for being in my own home. Es que yo facture más que ustedes sin necesidad de andar como esclavos. Capichi, esa es la diferencia tuya y mía. Que yo siempre voy a hacer dinero sin mucho trabajo. migrant influencer who has been encouraging migrants to come to the United States illegally and squat in the homes of U.S. citizens has been on the run from immigration authorities, the Post has learned. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Lionel Moreno, who is a Venezuelan national, crossed the southern border into Eagle Pass, Texas in April 2022. From there, he was enrolled on what is known as the Alternatives to Detention Program, which allows federal authorities to track migrants who enter the country illegally once they are released into the United States interior. Migrants who are enrolled in the program, like Moreno, are required to report to federal immigration authorities on their whereabouts in the United States while enrolled in the program. However, Moreno did not do that and was listed as an absconder from the program. Moreno regularly shares on social media how he scams the system to receive money from the federal government's food stamps and shows his social security card in posts that we've reviewed. He claims that his wife and daughter receive $350 a month from the federal government, often flaunts the food and aid that they receive through the funding from these federal programs. Moreno originally told federal authorities that his intended address in the United States was the Catholic Charities Office in Miami. He has since been seen in posts in Columbus, Ohio. When Moreno failed to report to immigration authorities as part of the Alternatives to Detention Tracking Program, ICE in Miami did mail him his court date. In one social media post, Moreno said that he has been in the U.S. for over a year and has not had to work one day. He said, quote, I've concluded that the American dream is real. This is food of the best quality that they just give you. In a separate post, Moreno said, quote, work is for slaves, boys. Remember that work is for slaves. Where have you seen a millionaire work? Don't humiliate yourself. You have to be creative to ask for money, he said. All right, so let me also point out how dangerous this Leonoid Moreno is, where he was calling on all the migrants from Venezuela to stick up for this 15-year-old kid who took a couple of shots at an NYPD officer in the middle of Times Square. Oh, now for those of you from New York or those of you that keep track of uh, the news in New York, then you know what I'm talking about. Times Square, shit. I mean, it's flooded with people. And this guy, this 15-year-old kid is taking a a couple of shots with a 45 caliber i think he hit one person in the leg or something like that i mean this guy is a danger and he's calling on all the migrants from venezuela which he's pretty much anybody who's going to support that 15 year old kid well they're a criminal too now you think back in the 80s i think it was when fidel castro was uh, getting rid of all his criminals okay and they flocked to florida you remember that guys for those of you in my age bracket 
it, okay? Now, think about it. Unfortunately, we got criminals that are mixed in with the migrants that are coming from various countries, okay? So you're going to see some dangerous people out there, guys, that are, that are working on that mentality from their culture, okay? I mentioned this in one or two of my videos where if we live in a society where we respect each other and so on, and these frauditors who go out there promoting that everybody should just be able to do what the hell they want to do, you think about it, guys, you're walking down the street and you look at somebody sideways for some reason, the next thing you know, they're trying to behead you or they're taking a shot at you, okay? This is the type of shit we're dealing with now, guys. Open up your eyes, guys. We're in some serious trouble. Tonight, a 15-year-old migrant under arrest accused of shooting and injuring a tourist in a packed Times Square. The boy also accused of firing at officers after he and two other teens allegedly tried to shoplift from a sporting goods store Thursday night. Just like we promised, less than 24 hours later, he's locked up and off our streets. The injured tourist from Brazil telling NBC New York, I believe this was just an unfortunate incident. It could have happened anywhere in the world. Police say the suspect entered the country from Venezuela in September and was living in a temporary shelter for migrants. He had fled the scene last night and was apprehended today. It's the second high-profile crime involving migrants in Times Square. New body camera footage has now been released from last month's attack on police officers. The footage shows just how the incident started, with officers trying to get a group of migrants to leave before the suspects tell police to stop touching them as they they walk away. One of the officers pushing a suspect against a wall as spectators tell each other to record. As an officer tries to detain the man in yellow, a fight breaks out as other suspects jump in. After days of criticism, the district attorney announcing the indictments of seven people related to that assault. Based on our thorough investigation, I stand here today confident uh, that we have identified the roles of every person who broke the law uh, and participated in this heinous attack. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg was under fire for earlier releasing four of them without bail. But now the DA, along with the New York City mayor, defending their actions. Our job is to follow the facts, build cases uh, that uh, stand in the court of law. The migrant crisis now dominating headlines and creating a climate of fear that's fueling more crime. Now, the NYPD doesn't specifically keep track of which crimes are committed by undocumented residents, but records show migrants living in New York City centers were arrested 1,200 times last year. That's linked to just 15 percent of the city's facilities. Still, Mayor Eric Adams pushing back on the perception that many or even most migrants are out there committing crimes. The overwhelming number, over 170,000, they want to finish their next leg of their journey of pursuing the American dream. Uh, but there is a small minority that's participating in illegal behavior. Yeah.